Hey guys, I just want to quickly record a message before this video begins. I want to quickly apologise for the audio in this upcoming clip. Um, it's still got all the content in there that you're expecting, um, but unfortunately uh, OBS used my built-in microphone, so I'm afraid there is quite a bit of background noise, um, but all the video content is there. As I'm a bit strapped for time at the moment, unfortunately I don't have the opportunity to re-record this yet, um, but I thought obviously sharing the content would be more important. So please forgive the audio um, and obviously make sure that this doesn't happen again in the future. Hi, uh, Dan here today with a brand new video all about a new update coming to The Sims Free Play. That's right, it's that time again for a brand new update this time it is the penthouses update which is pretty awesome so let's dig in and tell you a little bit more about it before we dig into this all new uh, preview which we've got to show you so the official description is you'll be on top of the world from the moment you step into your glamorous penthouse apartment in the heart of the city which can be unlocked via the sims and the city discovery quest you'll be able to choose from three very on point templates or design and decorate your own for the ultimate um, touch with elevators, designer furnishings, chandeliers, and even a grand piano. So you can upgrade your Sims' life to the max with the amazing walk-in wardrobes, handbag and shoe racks with their custom closets hobby event to store all of the so hot right now outfits. Um, to make that extra swish, you'll also be able to install curtains and blinds into your new digs um, after completing the Love is Blinds hobby event. As another extra on top of that as well, they have also revamped the mystery box to include even more things. But more interestingly, uh, they've also added stuff that has not previously been released in The Sims Free Play before. So, that sounds pretty awesome. I'm sure you can agree from that brief description. So let's start digging in to see what's new in this penthouse update. Cool, so let's start actually digging in. So the first thing you can see here on the screen is that there is a brand new live event called Custom Closets, where you can design the closet of your dreams and become uh, a modern uh, savant of style. Collect craft items to unlock new wardrobe components. Sure, sure thing. So that we've got a place of crafting table, but let's not worry about that right now. We want to check out the cool, awesome new penthouses. Um, is this just a normal? house so let's go and have a little dig into the world here so we can see here that is an awesome looking uh, city location which is brand new to the game um, which obviously your sims can now travel to i imagine by this lovely uh, train station uh, metro place which can take you right back to the main uh, area as well so that's pretty cool um, but let's uh, go back here, this is the place we want to be, and you can see here penthouses are there. And in order to complete them, we of course need to complete the Sims and the City quest. So, go to the park and complete the quest. Sure thing. So let's go back to one of our Sims, we'll go to this person, whoever you are, um, make sure they're an adult, yes they are. And, ooh, hello, a gift box, eh? Want we'll to have a little look at what this is. So it looks pretty awesome. And we're digging in. And what on earth is that? Mystery boxes have been given a makeover with brand new items for you to explore. Here are two keys to help you on your journey. Cool. So this is obviously for the mystery box which I spoke about earlier. You need keys to get them, so let's get one here, which will get the fortune box. And in here, you can see a variety of things that we have unlocked, including the meditation mat, which is from a previous thing, some uncommon items, and a bunch of common ones as well, including some simoleons, LP, and some pretty cool looking objects. So I've craned all of them, and now, Let's go to the park instead. Uh, so let's quickly find it right here and travel uh, down there. So the one thing I do want to point out is because of the way I've set this up to work on my Mac, um, 
eye is coming through. It's a really weird configuration, so maybe a bit more jittery than usual over here on the actual uh, uh, game. But you can see it's still um, relatively all right, uh, especially compared to some iPad videos I see about anyway. So we don't want to do this quest. Is this the one we're looking for? No, it's not. We want Sims and the city. Hello. An opportunity of fame awaits Sims with style. Awesome. So, an a famous starlet, a prim Adonna, uh, is visiting Simtown and is in need of a guide. Have your, have your Sims got the talent for touring? Complete this quest to earn the keys to downtown penthouse apartments and a glamorous celebrity fashion pack. So yeah, that is pretty awesome. So first of all, we need to send our Sim to the park to investigate. So let's bring our Sim here. And now, um, arriving at the park, your Sim spies a rumoured TV director pacing back and forth, speaking avidly on the telephone. Her name tag reads Miss Director, and she sure looks stressed. Miss Director pauses for a moment and cries out, it's a disaster. Have us in speak and ask what's wrong. Sure thing. So let's go on over and ask what is cracking. Um, obviously to speed things up for the sake of this preview, I will be using the LP since this is absolutely loaded with it as it's a preview build provided by FireMonkeys slash EA. Um, I should probably flag that earlier. Um, I'll probably pop something on the screen. Early access has been provided by EA and FireMonkeys so that we can show you uh, this on my channel. So, our sim asks what the problem is, and apparently her career is ruined and she is wailing. The tour guide is cancelled, and, well, we know Simtown pretty well, don't we? So maybe we can help out. So we can offer to actually help out our just have a birthday or something. Oh, no. Don't. Cool. Let's continue. Sure, we'll help you out. Good fellow, you seem like someone we can we can do that for. I'm not sure if they're celebrating. Oh yeah, they're like bowing on the ground to like thank us by the looks of it. Come on. Oh, stop messing around. Let's go. Tap on the Tinkering Man statue to show our touring abilities. Sure thing. Um, I think this is the cool statue, and obviously, oh, you can see all these people doing their little dance, doing their thing, but we're going to demonstrate our training. Now, make sure you let me know in the comments whether you appreciate me skipping through things, I'm not sure if you want to sit there and watch animations for too long, um, I thought you'd be more interested in obviously completing this quest, and then checking out these brand new apartments, because uh, they look pretty cool, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, so that's the plan. Uh, in this video. So we need to watch Simtown Stars at the home lot. No, I don't want to age up. Um, maybe we should get a different sim for this. Awesome. Da, 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 da. Simtown Stars. So this part takes five hours normally. So I'm not going to make you uh, subject yourself uh, to five hours worth of it, because that would be pretty crap. So, um, you guys can have fun with that at home, we're going to skip that. Obviously, this is a mobile game, it's designed for you to come back and complete it with time. We're powering through in this video. So we need to answer Mr. Director from a phone. So let's do that, give her a cheeky ring on the blower, and we have done that. And we send three sims to the park. Uh, to meet her. So we've already got one there at the moment, uh, and we can bring in this sim, and we'll bring in Angela as well. So we've now got our three sims here, and we can also now get her to request uh, an autograph. You can actually see there's a camera out. I'm not sure if that was there earlier. Um, I don't think it was, because I don't recognise it, but I guess this is, like, the sim. Kind of reminds me of Ariana Grande, not sure if that's just me. Um, but definitely, yeah, I, I, I can see the similarities. So I don't know if there's like a 
fancy animation for requesting an autograph. Yeah, she's, you know, okay. Obviously she's like fainting and all of that stuff. <laughs> all the typical things you do when you meet a celebrity, basically. That's what I'd do if I saw Shania Twain. Just faint into her arms. But we can offer her a nice tour of the park. A nice seven hour long tour um, at that as well. Um, so we gave Prim a tour and now we can also now show her this cool statue um, here of the guy sitting down on the stone and tell her about something that has been uh, encountered in the park. It's about a pond of ducks. All these sims seem to be aging up. I'm not sure why this is happening. I think it might be a bug um, with this um, preview build that we've got. So obviously remember that this is uh, a preview thing. Um, yeah, so, so, that, so that is a bug, but it will be fixed. Ooh, don't want to see that. That's my uh, Twitter feed coming on in there. Uh, I think like my nice selfies, guys. So send a sim back home to show a bit of Simtown life. Sure. So it looks like she's going to, like, stalk us to our house. Let's send them all back. See where she ends up. Come on, hurry up and leave. Fab. Um. Oh, so, oh, Angela lives here too. That's cool. So we've both did cool five sims to a house. We're having a party. Awesome. This is celebrating the diversity of Simtown. It's basically kind of a grand tour of the place. And we can <laughs> take a selfie, sure thing. Is this like, this would be interesting. Ah, oh, get that nice selfie. Having a great time. Lovely selfie. Remember that one forever, I'm sure. Love a good selfie. Get snapped out. So, we're going to share some gossip. This this girl likes her gossip, doesn't she? She is, she's definitely something. And we've now apparently got to purchase a nice decoration from the home store of some description. Um, I'm not quite sure what sort of decoration we're looking for. So I will get a mirror, since we've already got unlock that and pop it down there and we now have to apologize to her again these things last for quite a while so you'll be completing this over a seven day period um obviously you'll start this come back to it later so then start and with work finish it in the evening and work your way through this and it looks like with the timings as long as you stay on track uh you will be able to complete this and unlock it as well and there just seems to be lots of questions for this celebrity at the moment. Um, okay, we need to buy something for the fridge. Um, let me have a quick look at that, because I just kind of skipped that one. Clean strange slime from the fridge. 20 hours. Yeah. So you definitely need to be on track with this unless you obviously want to pay to extend uh, the amount of time it takes. Oh, that's not random kindly. Random acts of kindness. This girl is going to be so annoyed with the amount of questions that they are being asked uh, by these sims. And hot cross buns. Oh, that is something else. I love hot cross buns. But we're making donuts. And that's what we're going to do. And we baked them. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, right, thanks. Let's check again. Bit like a key. Have your sim give donuts to another sim they do not have friendship or romance with. Oh my gosh, this is going to be an interesting one because. Obviously, this being a preview build, it's a bit more uh, difficult. Let's see if that works. It's fine. It's all good. Cool. Again, this is another 20 
hour or rounding up um, 20 hour thing but on the bright side look over there over over there <laughs> over there um, on your screen um, you can see that actually we've almost completed this as well um, you can see it's just a lot of kind of like almost like mentoring her and keeping her stable um, almost but give her a long a one day 26 hours I've never seen something this long. Ago. What? Mm, not sure what I think about that. But, but, we have unlocked the new apartments. So we have finished The Sims and the City Quest. You can see it's basically a lot of talking um, with this sim, um, this celebrity, and basically making sure she doesn't have a mental breakdown by the sounds of it, and also doing a bit of fangirling in the process. But how fabulous. We have finished this quest and we have been awarded the keys to the downtown Peckhouse apartment. So let's go and also we've also got the glamorous celebrity fashion pack um, and to find our new style we can with any female adult sim we can do that too. Why is there no stuff for men? You know why, why not both? <laughs> oh because obviously you've got men and females. So, oh yeah, anyway. Um, not in that in like a bad way, it's just in terms of content in the game, it's nice to see always a split between um, both sexes uh, in the game, just so there's a fair balance, you can customise all of your sims. It's always nice to see. Um, so, I had a brain block then. Um, let's go and have a look at this awesome stuff. So here is the options for building a penthouse. So we've got the empty penthouse, uh, two and a half beds, um, sanctuary in the sky, and the lofty penthouse. So if we have a quick peek at what these look like, this is the empty one. You've got your elevator over there, and I imagine, of course, you can start building on top of this. So it's a little bit like city living, um, I'd say, from the uh, uh, Sims 4. So this is the other one. It looks really nice, overlooking that good view. Some really nice looking furniture in it as well. I, I really like that one. Um, really good. One thing I may do, I'm not sure if I will, so forgive me if I don't, may try and do like a, it's like a penthouse build or something um, while I've got access to the early access uh, demo. Um, obviously you can see we've got all these simoleons and all of that, so I can kind of just furnish it how we'd like to. So you can kind of get an example, oh, okay, I like this. I really like this. I like it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the last one as well, which is the most expensive, of course. But um, you can see here, it's got more than one floor as well. It's kind of very minimalistic. Uh, obviously upstairs, it's more expensive things. You've got the nice hot tub up here as well. You've got a swimming pool. It's kind of got everything that you need. So I'm actually going to buy this and get it popped into the game. Yes, we do want to build that. Yes, we want to skip it. Um, and we will uh, relocate an existing sim. We'll move this guy uh, into this awesome new penthouse, which of course we've got from completing the Sims in the City quest. So it's really cool all these things that you can get in the game. I'm just going to quickly hop back to the city view and take a look at this. You can see here now there are more than one place that you can go. So you can have different penthouses, you can have three different sims living in this new downtown city area and as well there's also a hospital here too uh, which you can have as well. Cool. Yep, thank you. So you can see there, that's there, kind of adds that finishing touch to this area, um, which is nice to see. I really like this update. Um, there's some really cool new things uh, with it. So, of course, updating things like the mystery boxes um, and as well, the whole idea of living in an apartment, I think, will be really appreciated by a lot of players looking for someone new to relocate their sims. And as well, it's... Apart from the really long time it takes for tasks, I think if I was uh, playing it on a daily basis, I would struggle to complete that um, quest.
but that's just me and it kind of depends on as whether you've got that time available uh, to do that and you know many of you do and if not many of you are also happy to pay for it as well but I really like what the Firebreakers team has done here they've got a really fun quest there's a lot of other things as well which I haven't covered in this video um, so the custom closets hobby event that popped up when we first uh, launched uh, this um, probably however long ago in this video now um, and also well the Love is Blind hobby event which we can of course then use to furnish uh, in the uh, apartments so it's really cool uh, that you've got these templates for your apartments you can build a new one um, and as well there's the all new uh, things with it as well so this update will be launching relatively soon in the near future so keep an eye out for it as of recording this the sims free play have been starting to tease it on their uh, pages uh, so I think it's going to be a hit with players. Let me know what you think in the comments below, whether you're looking forward to it, um, if you think you're going to enjoy it, if you're not going to, why not? Or is there anything that you wish they added in or changed based on what you've seen? Um, I'm looking forward to hearing more about it, and I'll be sure to bring you all the latest from The Sims Free Play, both on this YouTube channel and also at beyondsims.com, uh, which is my main website where you can get all of the latest news, previews, and reviews for The Sims and of course mobile games such as The Sims Freeplay and the upcoming The Sims Mobile. So I'll see you next time guys, thanks for watching.